Now, this morning I was thinking about places. Now, some words have been used right now in this discussion. Uh, our own schools. Here again, I have to reiterate, you're always in school. It's not a school is not a place, yet it is a place. It's every place, wherever you happen to be. You just don't have to go in some four walls. See, we got to get this four wall mentality out of our minds altogether. I mean that you have to go to a certain place in order for you to now declare, oh, I just walked through this door. So where am I now? Oh, now you are in school. Well, where were you before you came through that door? See, well, I wasn't in school then because I, I just came through this door because this door, this door that somebody made, and I opened the door, and I walked through it, and then now I'm in school. But if I walk back out of this door, I am no longer, quote, unquote, in school. It's called thinking outside the box, because what we call a school is a box. The school is the universe. You are in the universe. You are in the greatest university that there is. Everywhere you are, every minute of every day. So you teach and you learn everywhere you are, every day. Now, we really, you might say, quote, unquote, subconsciously, whatever that means. I don't like that term, really. I mean, you know, if you're thinking at all, that's conscious. I mean, so you, you're doing this everywhere you are. But the white supremacists teach us, oh, if you don't come overseas here and go in this door, and it's got a roof over there, and it's got some walls. I call it four wallism, you know. Then you're not actually in school, so you've got to come a thousand miles and walk through this door. And then when you walk in and take a seat, and then somebody comes out and you know waves a wand or something and says, "Now you are in school. You are now beginning to learn." But you learn things before you came there. For one thing, you learn how to get there. So that was in school, but you don't call it that. So think that way. Learn to think outside of that box, because the white supremacists got everything all chopped up in little boxes. I mean, real neat that they can control. And the first box that they try to control among non-white people is non-white people's minds that are in their heads. So that's the box that they want to control. So we have to think outside of all of these boxes mm -hmm. and all of these lines that they have drawn for us and say that they are boundaries. And if you are not in a certain place at a certain time, you can't do this and you can't do that. Why? Because I said so. That's why. Well, that's a real box. Yeah, a real box. Right.